The process for Tina was massive for me. It was about 12 rounds of auditions with that band over the course of about two, three months. And that was dance, acting, and of course singing. Dance being one of the more challenging aspects of the audition process. I did a lot of boot camping, a lot of rehearsing and classes, a lot of training, and a lot of research into Tina and her story, and what it means to take on her story. and had to have the utmost respect to tell that story and audition it with authenticity means I was on YouTube a lot. I was Wikipedia, I was reading her books, I was doing all of the things I could to understand her story. So when I auditioned, it felt real and authentic. If you get it, don't know me. performing in the Princess Theatre. It feels very intimate and they're right there up close at the end. You see everyone's faces and they're up dancing, the nut bush, and it's just so, so exhilarating. I'm very, very grateful. We get so much love and support. as a black woman to tell another black woman's story. It's a complete honor, it's humbling, and it's a reminder that we all play a part in the bigger picture of creating a world that's inclusive and diverse and that everybody has so much more to give than what is put on, placed on them. Tina faces, you know, ageism, sexism, racism, all these isms in the show, and she overcomes. And so to get to tell that story, it's it's almost as if Tina's spirit is telling me I can do anything I want and I'm unstoppable. And I hope that me telling Tina's story informs everybody out there that they also can do whatever they want and go for their dreams and welcome the challenges that are going to come to you and overcome. Everyone.